Hello guys, today I have a, just a quick uh, quick tip and tutorial about uh, Motion 5. So uh, let's uh, let's launch it up. And uh, what I'm going to be covering today is uh, how you get these extra extra effects, uh, extra transitions, extra templates. And for some of you, uh, might have downloaded Motion 5 and you do not have any of these templates. So uh, I'll showing you how to. I'm gonna be showing you how to get them and you can either get them in two ways the first way is to head over under motion under motion you'll see that it says download additional content but since I've already downloaded my additional content it has uh, basically blocked it off for me and under uh, you could do it also under the Apple logo when I head over to software update and as soon as you open it you'll find uh, that little motion 5 um, basic uh, templates, uh, extra effects, extra transitions, and stuff like that. Just uh, download it. It's about 1.2 gigabytes. So it's basically exactly the same size as Motion, but it has all the uh, all the effects, all the uh, transitions and templates. So that's just a quick tip uh, if you guys are wondering how you don't have it. And now I have a request uh, by a YouTuber who uh, wants me basically to show you guys how... Um, to do the same thing as we did in the old template, as we did in the, uh, the, I think we did it in the atmospheric one, but to do the same and a little bit more advanced on decode. So you want to go ahead and click on the decode uh, right now and hit open a copy. Once you've opened up uh, uh, the actual decode thing, uh, just skim through the timeline, make sure everything is there and on your text place once your text is here and also one quick tip I keep forgetting is to always hit shift Z to fit it right in place because sometimes you might wondering uh, how is the title so big so yeah it's not actually the title it's uh, your your text not the text the uh, actual uh, way you fit the video on here so you want to hit on this uh, little arrow here to break up the, the two elements you want to click on the title and you want to um, you know, type in whatever you want for this one. I'm gonna type in uh, HS Tutorials 101, and under here, I'm gonna hit the subscribe. Just a quick subscribe, and uh, once you're done, hit the escape, and you're done with that. Now, what you could also do, as we did in the last tutorial, is add uh, some images if you want to add some. Uh, some images and leave a, like a quick shortcut on uh, where you want uh, their viewers to see uh, your actual button or image or or that subscribe thing. So you just want to add a quick text or uh, or image on here, and then through video through YouTube you want to annotate it and uh, make it subscribe yeah. to actual thing. So you want to move your image to match up wherever you are in the timeline, and as you could see, once it is done. So basically, once that uh, video is out of the way, you'll see the subscribe button come up, and there it says, uh, basically, ages to 101. Oh, subscribe, and uh, have everything on there. And uh, so, a uh, little more features to do on here. So you want to head over also again. Uh, if you want to add uh, some filters, behaviors, and uh, stuff like that. So under your filters, um, actually let's add a behavior onto this image to make it a bit more advanced. So you want to find your image, move on to the timeline, and you have a basic couple of, um, of uh, behaviors on here. So what you want to do is uh, basic motion for this tutorial and uh, we'll do a basic uh, grow and shrink you want to drag that on your image and once that's done you want to hit the uh... my bad guys, you have, to, you have to head over to the inspector so you want to click on your uh, your behavior which is a grow and shrink and you want to head over to your inspector and you want to scale the size of your uh, image so you want to make it bigger, smaller so let's make it bigger so it grows in size and once the video comes it will start growing in size as you guys can see it's growing in size and also you could add other behaviors onto it but this is just a basic simple motion and uh, for this one uh, let's also add in a couple of spin on this 
on this image as well so just a quick spin and the way you want to spin it is to hit the spin head over to the inspector as well and uh, spin um, basically where you want to spin it to just a quick spin right at basically one more spin they're done and uh, you could uh, basically create it uh, as a continuous rate or uh, stuff like that you can head over either to the y-axis to make it spin in the y-axis the uh, z-axis or uh, the easiest one which is the x which just actually just basically spins it like this but for this one uh, let's keep it on to the uh, uh, Z axis because you actually want to annotate this and you don't want to keep uh, moving the annotations. So uh, basically, just keep it on like this. And as your project moves, it will start spinning, 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 spinning until it reaches the end. And the annotation will always stay in that place. And of course, our subscribe button keeps spinning and your image keeps spinning as well. Other behaviors you might also want to add on to here is uh, just basic stuff. Um, you could also add uh, some text animations if you guys want to like a, a type on feature. So you want to head over to your text area and you want to drag your behavior right under the text you want it to be on. And so once that's there it starts typing in your actual title. So uh, that's, that's pretty neat as well if you want to you know, create it like that. And uh, if you want to head over one to your uh, text tracking on your subtitles, you want to head over down here and do it the same as well. So that's it, guys. Uh, be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and rate this video. Um, I'll be having some other videos, and be sure to subscribe to my other channel. I'll leave an annotation on the actual subscribe button here. So be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.